Let's see why an F1 car needs downforce to manage the 2019 and 2020 Pirelli tires. The high downforce aerodynamic setup grants high energy generation and transmission to tires. The tire gets energized deeply, up to its core, and works in its optimal window assuring the best level of grip. On the other hand, a low downforce car does not provide enough energy and temperature to the tire, so it works outside its best temperature window, providing less grip. When the pilot approaches a corner, if the front tires are not at their optimal temperature the car suffers understeer. The car then starts sliding towards the outside of the corner, and the pilot needs to increase the steering angle in order to correct this. This generates friction on the surface of the tire, that rise its temperature, but it is just a superficial phenomenon, that do not energize the tire at all. On the contrary, it produces wear much faster than it should, diminishing sensitively the life and the performance of the tire set. This leads to either a vicious or a vitreous cycle. With a low downforce the tires work outside their optimal window, they suffer quick degradation, and in order to try to avoid this the pilot needs to slow down. But by doing this the tires lose even more energy and so on. On the contrary, with high downforce the tires works in their best performance window, granting the highest level of grip. This allows the pilot to push hard through the corners and, thus, keep the tires energized.